The program is designed to help patients and caregivers understand how to care for peripherally inserted central catheters. Peripherally inserted central catheter is inserted in a peripheral vein in the arm. As a drug can be administered through the peripherally inserted central catheter without additional needle, it is very convenient. However, if the infection occurs through the catheter, it is very risky. Thus, it is very important to know how to care for the catheter and to perform it. This video shows how to disinfect the insertion part of catheter in order to safely use the peripherally inserted central catheter. Infusion of heparin solution. It contains contents showing how to care for the peripherally inserted central catheter while taking a shower. When a tegaderm is applied on the insertion site, it is disinfected every seven days. When MEPOR is applied, the insertion site is disinfected every two days. With discharging, bleeding, or sweating, apply a MEPOR and disinfect the part more often. Disinfection procedure is preparing items. Disinfect the insertion site. Apply a tegaderm. Fix the catheter on skin according to the following procedures. Let's look at the disinfection procedures in more detail. First, have a mask, two sterile swabs, tegaderms, and a tape on a clean towel. Two swabs are placed in a bag of sterile swabs. Wear a mask. Wash hands thoroughly with soap. Take off the attached tegaderm. Be careful to prevent the fixing plate from coming off or to avoid pulling the catheter. Hold the edge of the tegaderm and lift it upward. Check whether there is redness, edema, pus, discharge, or pain on the insertion site. Have sterile swabs. Take the first swab out. Disinfect the insertion site with the swab by making concentric circles in an outward direction. Do not go through the disinfected site again. The disinfected area should be large enough to be able to apply the tegaderm. Once taking out the second swab, disinfect it by applying the same method. Disinfect it again with the third swab. Disinfect the insertion site more than three times. Disinfect the catheter with the last swab. Wait until the disinfectant is completely dried. Do not blow it by mouth or a fan. While the disinfectant is dried, take the tegaderm out of the pack. Then, apply the tegaderm on the insertion site. Firmly apply it, not to let the edge come off. Peel off the paper at the edge of the tegaderm. Write the date of disinfection on the tape. After peeling off the paper, place it on the tegaderm. Make sure that a catheter is fixed on skin. To avoid pulling the catheter by using a tape, while taking care of the peripherally inserted central catheters, there are symptoms to notify medical staffs. If one of the following symptoms occur, please consult medical staffs. First, you have bleeding, redness, pus, discharge, or pain on the insertion site. Second, you feel numb or pain on the shoulder or arm in which the catheter is inserted. Third, you have swollen shoulder face or arm in which the catheter is inserted. Fourth, the catheter is lengthened or comes off.
Heparin solution is a drug to prevent the obstruction of the peripherally inserted central catheters. It should be infused every seven days. Infusion of heparin solution is preparing items. Disinfect the vial of heparin solution. Get the right dose of heparin into the syringe by pulling back on the plunger. Disinfect the catheter cap. Infuse the heparin solution into the catheter according to the procedures. Let's check out the heparin infusion procedures. First, please thoroughly wash hands with soap and water. Have a syringe, sterile swaps, and heparin solution vial on a clean towel. Remove a plastic cap of the heparin solution vial by pulling it up. If you slightly pull up and release the plunger, it is much easier to get the heparin solution in the syringe. Take out the sterile swab. Wipe the rubber top of the heparin solution vial with an alcohol wipe to disinfect it. Once the disinfectant is dried out, take the cap off the needle of the syringe. Hold the heparin solution vial. Put the needle into and through the rubber top of the heparin solution vial. Keep the needle in the vial and tilt the vial. Pull back on the plunger to get 4 cc of heparin solution while looking at the syringe scales. After taking the syringe out of the heparin solution vial, carefully put the cover over the needle. At the time, be careful to avoid touching the edge and getting the needle stick injury. Disinfect the rubber part while holding the catheter. Wait until the disinfectant is dried. While the disinfectant is dried, remove the cover of the syringe. Put the needle straight into the center of the catheter cover. After putting the needle in, open the clamp. Inject the heparin solution while looking at syringe scales. Inject only 3 cc of heparin solution. When about 1 cc of heparin solution is left, put the plunger in and close the clamp at the same time. After pulling the needle out, put the cover on the needle and then throw away the needle and syringe to avoid the needle stick injury. Never reuse the leftover heparin solution. If necessary, get a new vial with a new prescription. If there is one of the following symptoms while injecting the heparin solution, you should notify medical staffs. First, there is resistance while injecting the heparin solution and the heparin is not injected. Second, the patients have chills or fever after the heparin solution is injected. If the heparin solution is not injected, please do not apply excessive force to inject it. After covering the disinfected site, to prevent water from entering, please take a shower. It is required to have one or two large tegaderms, tissue, and a tape. First, have a tegaderm. Fold tissue, as big as tegaderm or mepor, and then use the folded tissue. Fix the tissue on the U-shaped pipe. Cover the tegaderm or mepor with the tissue to prevent it from coming off while taking a shower. Place a large tegaderm over the tissue. If the tegaderm cannot cover the tissue sufficiently, place two tegaderms on the tissue to be fully overlapped. Peel off the paper from the edge of the tegaderm. It is a completed shape. Take off the tegaderm and tissue after a shower. Check whether or not water enters. If the disinfected site gets wet after a shower, please disinfect the insertion site again. So far, we have reviewed how to care for the peripherally inserted central catheters. If you take care of the peripherally inserted central catheters properly, you can use it safely and conveniently. 
please consult the guidebook of the peripherally inserted central catheters for patients and caregivers. If you have any questions, please contact the nurse rooms specialized in tumor or general ward nurse rooms.